Hi YouTube, how are we all? My name's Jan Silver and I've been video logging my journey to and beyond the gastric bypass which I had eight and a half ish weeks ago. So yeah, this coming Wednesday will be nine weeks, absolutely crazy. <clears throat> So for those of you who've just joined me, I was 112 kgs, I think, before surgery. I'll give you all my stats tomorrow, how about that? Because I'm absolutely crap with numbers and I can't remember. I just figured I haven't done a video all weekend. I've spared my husband um, having to sit inside a motorhome and listen to me. But now he's in the orangery having to listen to me. That's different, it's a bigger room, right? It doesn't matter. So anyway, I've had the most amazing weekend. I think a lot of you know that Harry and I got our beautiful new motorhome on Thursday last week. So we've had our maiden voyage and we travelled up country. It was up and to the right. Am I right, Harry? Yeah. Norfolk is up and to the right. So we drove, it's about, it's about three and a half, four hour drive um, up to Norfolk to stay on the coast. And we booked in, because we're really new, we basically needed to be away from home. Um, suss out what we've got in the motorhome, how to work it, blah, 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 blah. How he does all of that, I just can't sort of learn later. So He teaches me, he learns and he teaches me. But anyway, we went up, we stayed at a Haven um, holiday home on the Friday night. And it was okay, it was nice. It was, it was right on the beach, which is beautiful. The Norfolk coast is absolutely stunning. White sands, as far as, the, as, far as you can see in both directions, absolutely beautiful. Um, but it was slightly, you, probably if you had kids, it was really good. It's full of entertainment, you know, swimming pools, playgrounds, um, entertainment in the evening. You could go and play bingo, you could do all of this. And Harry and I actually, we don't have children with us at this point in our lives. Um, so actually it wasn't really for us. Each camper van was um, overlooked completely. Um, well, touring, you, you either get your caravans or your camper vans. And we felt really overlooked, um, not uncomfortably, but it was, I suppose because it's really early days, for Harry and I, this is just discovering what we want and what we like, and, and that wasn't really for us. So we chose another campsite just a few miles up the coast, um, which was called, I think, Long Beach, Harry which was called Long Beach, um, and in fact, it was an older campsite, so the facilities were tired, but you know what? We didn't need to use the facilities. We've got a beautiful motorhome that's got beautiful beds, we've got a shower, we've got a toilet, um, obviously not for number twos, though, no poos in the loos. But anyway, we've got all of the, our facilities, so it's just a matter of parking your, your motorhome up and being able to do what you want to do, whether it's going out on your bike and cycling or walking. And, and again, this one was so conveniently right on the beach. I mean, the beach is so, beautiful soft white sand, so it's quite, it's quite a good workout this weekend, actually, because I really feel like I've worked, even walking in the sand is quite hard work. Um, and food-wise, since I last talked to you, uh, I had that dumping, didn't I, on the Thursday night. And then Friday, excuse me, um, I was a, a lot more aware about trying to keep my fluids up and eating properly. So I even took with me on the journey some of those little, um, they're smoothies, ready-made smoothies, which are high in protein and no added sugar. So I've, I have actually chosen to have those if I didn't feel like eating really but I have eaten just very little I mean we cooked a, a really fancy a sausage sandwich and we cooked the sausages on a George Foreman grill so all the fat drips out anyway <clears throat> really looking forward to it I was thinking that's camping a little bit of frying or whatever you're doing and no that didn't go down well at all but rather than force myself I just pushed it aside and said no and that's where I'm glad I had those um the little smoothies because at least I've had something inside me not nothing at all I think I have learned from the other day about not eating and drinking that's just absolutely <clears throat> crazy and to be really honest with you guys <clears throat> on Friday night um I can't think what we had for tea Friday night but anyway I actually exceeded my alcohol intake and I had three glasses of wine which was comfortable it was nice and I slept like a baby um, so, in fact, my husband woke up really hungover and I didn't say, so that could be a good thing. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's kind of any differences in me this weekend was just being aware totally of what I've eaten. I've just had a really nice salmon on croup, actually, which I baked in the oven with um, just some savoury rice on the side, which was really nice. And that went down really, really well. 
At lunchtime, I did order a jacket potato with tuna and sweet corn. Um, I didn't eat an awful lot of that, to be honest. Um, I passed it to Harry, but um, I did eat some, so at least I ate something. Um, yeah, so anyway, I just thought I'd come on, really, and say hi. That I've, We've survived our weekend away, which was I'm now desperately wanting to plan next weekend and get away again that's the whole point of having a motorhome <coughs> although we've got a few bits and pieces that we need to buy now but there is a motorhome show on in Newbury which is right where we live so we're probably going to go to that next weekend and then head off somewhere we shall see watch this space so yeah I'm um, going to try and get back into my walking I think really before my mother-in-law came and while she was here I was doing my 10,000 steps but period appeared and then I felt bloody knackered and didn't do much at all so I really need to get back in I have done 9,500 today without realizing it <clears throat> but I think next week my my main aim is going to be get back out walking or on my bike my back's not bad anymore perhaps I could do some cycle rides as well but then my Fitbit doesn't work I was going to try and tie it to my ankles <laughs> if it monitored every time I went around a pedal hmm that's food for thought I shall see um, anyway guys, so that's me today, I just thought I'd say hi, I wanted to say a big shout out to Liz, because right at this point, it's 7.30 on Sunday night, I have a funny feeling you're under anaesthetic now and having your surgery, or you'll be slightly recovering, so I've, I've had you in my thoughts all day Liz, um, I just hope that like myself, your surgery goes absolutely everything goes to plan and there's no nothings and your recovery is going to be yep I'm up and about and you know it'll all be smooth running just as mine was I really hope that really <clears throat> um Mandy I'll be in touch I know I need to look at dates and figure out well I haven't figured out I know when you're going in and you must be feeling slightly nervous you're on your liver reduction so I hope that's going really well too and anyway, everybody, I just want to say thanks to everybody for following me. If you've got any questions at all, I do answer everybody. Please put them in the box below. And if you haven't already, click like and subscribe. I am over on Instagram looking on the lighter side of life as well. And I am I am looking on the lighter side of life. I'll go like this now, look, and look what you can see. Are those collarbones? Okay, I do have to look like a bit of an idiot doing it. Look, but I've got them. They're there. They are going to appear at some point. How lovely will that be? I've never really had collarbones. Hmm, good thinking. Anyway, guys, mwah, speak to you soon. Bye.